I play from uh, 1958 to 1968. Pat Trammell, who was the first player that Bear Bryant recruited at the University of Alabama and became his best friend through life. Mm -hmm. uh, and he played until 1961 when they won the national championship and then went to medical school and dies of cancer in 1968 and it's his second year of residency. Ooh, this role should come easy for you, shouldn't it? Since you played, you played football in college, didn't you? Sort of. I, sort I, was, of. A, I was a heavy bencher, and I thought <laughs> finally I was going to get my chance to be the superstar and be the quarterback, but then the stuntmen do it all. Uh -oh. So, again, I, I kind of missed up. You mean a guy with your build and your physical... You, uh, uh, there was a double for you? Three of them, yes. Three of them? Yes, yeah. very depressing. Because they don't want you to break your nose and then mess up their close-up <laughs> shots and yeah. things. Well, you have uh, I mean, three other guys had to get their hair done like this. <laughs> oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. I bet they. How long does it take? In fact, to, well, we to had a, there was a whole entire football team, and they shaved everybody's heads. That's oh. already started growing out, though, hasn't it? Yes, you? actually, this is long. It's, it used to be about a half an inch, so it's kind of there's a, a middle period that it's going to go through that's going to be a little bit awkward because mm -hmm. it doesn't it don't it doesn't stay down. It's really strange. What happens to you uh, now with the other side of your career when you're when you're being interviewed or perhaps photos for uh, magazines and what have you? <laughs> Is that kind of uh, in a hiatus form right now? No, we we did it. I just did a, a whole bunch of magazines when we were in New York, mm -hmm. if, and we're going to go to Rome probably next week or the next, and and do some uh, Italian magazines, that sort of thing. Very fashionable, they tell me. I don't beats me. Yeah, it looks kinda, good on you. Kind of on the, the chic side. And then you put them in magazines and you light it real well and you get nice suits on and everybody thinks it's supposed to be like that. Have you adjusted to that uh, beefcake? Well, no, the haircut, I'm sure you have. But how about that beefcake image that you established with uh, the making of a male model? Have you adjusted to that? Do you still kind of fight against it? I don't, I don't really worry about it a whole lot. It's, uh, it's very much, I think, a convenient label that people put on you to categorize you in, in certain things. I'm, I'm not worried about it, really. Did you have that kind of... I know when I was in college, guys like you, women like me, would just look at and just know that I'm you were busy you. every <laughs> every night. You know, we figured we didn't have a chance with people like you. Were you that well, kind of guy? Well, guys like us looked at girls like you, you and thought the there. same thing. Really? Yes. Oh. Yeah, everybody's mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, you had, I'm sure probably had that kind of, you know, Mr. Joe College image no, in school time. No, no, not really. I don't know what went wrong. But uh, it's, I see, I'm not like, it's, that's a problem when I run to a lot of people now, like in restaurants and that sort of thing. I think I'm like the male model, you know, like wearing like nice suits and all that sort of thing, and I, I don't. And I, I didn't in college either. And it was just very much an image created on the, the screen. Perception. I'm not like the people I play. You hit the, the uh, you hit the books pretty hard in college, as a matter of fact, didn't you? You were a yeah. philosophy graduate with a degree in philosophy, mm -hmm. and they thought about becoming a doctor at one time. Yeah, yeah. Though I, I'd always enjoyed this so much, and it was so much more fun than anything else I'd done. That I, I, I had to do this. Uh -huh. I mean, it was great fun to go down to Alabama and cut our hair and, and talk Southern boys and drink Jack Daniels and, and curse <laughs> a lot and do all that sort of thing. It's, Great fun. Playtime. Playtime. Did the yeah. uh, role in Male Model lead to other things? Were you, did you find yourself uh, mm -hmm. receiving a lot of scripts and a lot of job offers? Yeah. Um, we have something in development now, uh, 20th Century Fox with Glenn Larson, an uh, action adventure series for next fall, and uh, a three-picture deal that is near completion. Uh, quite a few things, really. Mm -hmm. You've got a poster coming out, too, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, keep on selling them posters. Oh, See that yeah, poster? Yeah, we showed this one a little earlier. Here he is now, before Sansom and Delilah. <laughs> there you are. Oh, my nice. goodness. Yeah. Free haircut. Very nice. Uh-huh. You're looking good. So what do you put, what, what is the emphasis now, John, with John Eric? Would you say that it is, uh, continues to be movies, television, getting more away from the male model? Yeah, very, yeah. very much so, and I'm trying to do a bit more serious, credible projects, mm -hmm. like The Bear that we just did yeah. with Gary Busey, who's, who's wonderful in this. Yes. Really wonderful in it. And they have a lot of prosthetics that, that help him age, and he does the voice and everything. It's, he's real good. It's delightful to work with him. I bet it's a wonderful story. Watch for John Eric Hexham in the new poster. Yes, indeed. Also, the new movie, Bear, it will be coming out next fall. And from uh, all accounts from Alabama, it should be a good one. We wish you continued good luck. Thanks very much. Thank right. you. Thank you. Still ahead the next hour, we will be visiting with a handsome and talented actor, Brian Kerwin. Okay. Also, we're going to try tasty locale fried chicken. But first, get ready for the pro, Curly Neal from the Harlem Globetrotters. He's going to show me how to do that. There it is right there. I'll be right